My name is Sham Sundar. I'm the director of the Building and Fire Research Laboratory at the National Institute of Standards and Technology, uh, and I'm also the lead investigator for the investigation. Intentional demolition usually prepares most, if not all, interior columns in a building with explosive charges, not just one column. If you look at photographs of intentional demolition or videos of intentional demolition, you actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side, and you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw on 9-11. You actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side, and you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw on 9-11. Controlled demolition usually involves uh, putting charges on multiple columns, and they're time-sequenced, so that you'll see a, a particular uh, uh, a, uh, a progression of failures. If you go and look at websites, you'll find how they look. And third, we wanted to look at hypothetical blast events because there was um, some suggestion there. We had not seen any evidence of it that the manner in which Tower 7, Building 7, seemed to collapse was similar in some features to a controlled demolition. You actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side, and you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw on 9-11. You actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side, and you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw on 9-11. this building did not collapse in the form of a controlled demolition. And it was not a controlled demolition at all. Dat was een wolkenkrabber van 47 verdiepingen naast de Twin Towers. Op 11 september 2001 heeft er brand gewoed, maar er is nooit een vliegtuig in gevlogen. Toch is ook dit gebouw op 11 september ingestort. Deze gebeurtenis heeft nooit veel aandacht gekregen en ook Denny Jowenko heeft er nooit van gehoord. Zijn reactie op de beelden die we laten zien is onbevangen. Zie je vanaf boven gaan? Nee, je gaat vanaf onder. Die gaat vanaf onder, ja. Toch? Ja. Ze hebben gewoon kolommen weggeblazen. Er is nagesprongen. Dit, dit is... valt anders dan het World Trade Center. Vind je niet dan? Ja, je ziet het. De onderste verdiepingen gaan eerst. Ja, en de rest zakt er gewoon in. Dus dit is controlled demolition. Zeker weten? Zeker weten. Er is nagesprongen. Dit is in opdracht gebeurd. Dit heeft een team gedaan van experts. You actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side. And you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw on 9-11. You actually have a wave that progresses from one side of the building to the other side, 
and you can see it in the manner in which the building actually collapses. You have a sequence of charges going off, and that's not what we saw in 9-11. It was not a controlled demolition at all.